Hey, why are you getting off? Okay, come on. Let's go try our luck. Pretty country. <sighs> Beautiful. Come on, let's go see what's biting. You take this spot, Arthur. I'm going to cast from over to the right there, so we're not in each other's way. Time of day really can make a difference. They feed early morning or late evening because that's when the insects are more likely to be out. We're lucky, we got such nice weather. But rain can be good. Sometimes big fish think the raindrops are insects. Well, I guess it's still relaxing, even if I don't catch anything. Sort of like... staring at the sky. It's your bait, I think. Come use some of mine. Oh, no, it's not the bait. It's me. I've always been a poor fisherman. Especially compared with you and Jose. Just try some of mine. Here. Crickets. Thanks. Yeah. He's a fighter. Trick is, let him tire himself out. Look at that. That's a good looking fish. Well done. Okay, let's try for another. I was thinking, you remember that stagecoach we held up in Nevada? Yeah, it was a tip from that crooked lawman in Reno. We opened the door and it's full of women and children. Rich, but women and children. So we let it go and read in the newspaper that the O'Driscolls robbed and killed them all the next day, further down the trail. Yep. You know, way back in the day, Homo O'Driscoll and Dutch were sort of friends. Friends? Well, not friends, but they had an understanding. Then Combs Main Street got meaner and Dutch... Dutch wanted to try to live a different way. And now, here we are. Another one. Come on. You got one. Look at that. That's a good looking fish. Well done. Don't rush it, Arthur. He's small, but might make a nice meal. Keeping you.
Let's try for one more and then head back. What do you say? That's fine with me. Another one. This is an angry one. Look at that. That's a good looking fish. Well done. You got this one. Another one. Come on. Look at that. That's a good looking fish. Well done. Good job, Arthur. Not bad, you see? It's the bait. <laughs> it ain't just the bait. I'm gonna head back. You wanna join me, or uh, you keep trying for these bastards? I'll come. Okay, let's go. Okay. Hello, Arthur. Hey, Marcus. Arthur. You going fishing? Yes. Or running off to Como Driscoll? Of course not. <laughs> I was joking. That's very funny. <laughs> yes, yeah, very, very funny. I saved your life, and now you torture me. Ho, ho. Shut up. Do you want to go fishing with me? I, I found an interesting spot. We'll do well. I'm not a great fisherman. But I am. <laughs> I'll teach you something. We come? Sure. All right, then. Grab your horse and let's go. There, girl. Okay, follow me. I know a great little fishing spot along the beach. <laughs> Who'd have thought it? Wasn't that long ago I was tied to the back of your horse while begging for mercy. Now we're off fishing together. Uh, how do you know I ain't just looking for a good place to drown you? Because I saved your life, Arthur. Uh, you keep saying that. But I save your life every day I don't kill you. So we are more than even on that front. Come on, you don't mean that. You better believe I mean it. Now, where's your spot? Uh, not much further. Some beautiful smallmouth here. Bass? Sure. This strip of shore looks perfect. Pick a spot. Seeing lots of bluegill and bass over here. Bait with worms or crickets if you got them. Otherwise, maybe some bread or cheese?
You get many bites there, O'Driscoll? <laughs> Ain't an O'Driscoll. I told you fellas a hundred times. I'd only been with him a couple of months. I was just a runner, helping out with the horses mainly. Bottom rung of the ladder. And to think that was the high point of your career. Comb goes through men like cigars. They ain't like you folks. They barely knew my name. I'm more Kieran Vanderlyn than Kieran O'Driscoll at this point. Honest to God. Mostly I'm, I'm Kieran Duffy. I hate to break it to you. But I ain't sure Kieran Vanderlyn is gonna stick. Not too fast. You could break the line. There you go. Nice. Good catch, Arthur. Now see if you can hook another. Cast the line then, Arthur. So, you think Dutch trusts me now? <laughs> That's a good one. What? Not in the slightest, my friend. I can't win. I promised loyalty, he says, but you wasn't loyal to Comb. If I say I ain't got no allegiance to nobody, he says, how do I know you won't turn on us then? I don't know what you want to hear. I'm trying hard to feel sorry for you, but somehow I, I just can't manage to. What in the world? Arthur, are you seeing this? The feather's naked as a jaybird. Is that why you like this spot? My lord, there's somebody who needs to go to confession. Hey, watch the light! Oh, hey! I nearly gulped down a minnow. Sorry, fellas. Didn't see you there. Why don't you take a break? Come on in. The water's wonderful. You here for some fishing? We hope to. You haven't scared them all away, have you? Oh, just so you fellas know, there's some real big ones over that way, like this. Well, I better keep the blood pumping. Hope you gents catch something. Yeah? Maybe we'll take a look. Thanks. I know where that is. Oh, come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Hey, wait up! Well, take care. I'm ready when you are. Yeah, that's it. Live a little. Don't be shy. Rip off those clothes and drop anchor. 